Now I want to introduce uh, uh, two people, uh, Joel Weber uh, and Sherry Johnson, to talk about the new S-scale scene that three companies are putting together. Uh, and I'll leave it up to, uh, to Joel and to Sherry yeah. to discuss and to talk about uh, the rollout of it for the pre-orders at Joel's convention uh, in October. I think it starts on the 25th of October in St. Louis. So Sherry, Joel, I'll turn it over to you all. Hello, everyone. Um, nice to be back. Um, I think uh, the easiest way to kind of show what the uh, what the scene is all about, the uh, animated transfer station, is to go ahead and show a little video. Now, this video is very preliminary on what we're doing. It uh, is definitely not even close to being finished, but it will give you an idea of the animation and what to expect or what to see what's coming. So let me go ahead and start this up. And that noise you hear isn't actually the model that is my spouse cleaning up the freezer. But as you can see, we're gonna have the transfer building. It's gonna have a spot for uh, freight cars, box cars, tractor trailers. And we're gonna have a ride on pallet jack that moves through the, uh, through the transfer station out onto the loading dock and back. Some of the scenery details that you see here will be included in the scene. We're excited about that. Um, things are definitely coming together there. I'm also going to briefly show uh, we have a product page up and available. And I will be posting a link to that in the comments and up on the New Tracks Facebook page where you can actually get more information, see some more videos, and also sign up uh, to be notified when the pre order um, actually uh, starts. <clears throat> We actually have a cute little countdown going there. Hopefully everybody can see that. You can see it's uh, October 25th is the start of the convention. So that is our countdown date. We're 57 days and 17 hours away. And we've got the logos there from all of us who are together. But like I said, I'll share a link to this because it has a lot of information on here of what's in the set, what's coming, and a link to some additional videos. Again, we're excited about this. And um, like I said, I'm going to put a uh, link in the chat and a QR code if it'll let me in the chat. Um, I can go ahead and briefly put that QR code up here too if you all would like me to do that. Let's figure out how to, there we go. Um, there you go, there is the QR code if you all want to take some quick shots of that. Again, like I said, I'm going to put the URL up on, on the new tracks and in the, in the chat. And that way you can get a little more information on that. Um, I'll leave that up. Joel, what do you have to say? Because you're going to talk about it rolling out at the convention. Yeah, so I'm going to share my screen real quick. I mean, this is uh, always a challenge for me. Technology and I are not always good friends with each other. Um, the S-Fest 2024, and I'm going to go through this real quick. Uh, the S-Fest is a S-gauge, S-scale train held annually every year. Uh, four clubs, and I say three to four because the state line S gaugers have uh, kind of shrunk, and I'm not sure they're going to participate in the continued rotation. But we're Chicago, um, Southeast Wisconsin, St. Louis area. Uh, it's ostensibly a swap meet at its core of S gauge and S scale trains and related merchandise. But as part of it, too, we hold clinics that are related to the hobby, and they range from electronics to scenery building to maintenance. We do a model contest, and you see some really nice work at that. We generally have at least one operating display at the convention. And then on the day after, on Sunday, there's tours of local layouts, which will include mine. We feature convention cars, a speaker uh, at, our, at an auction, at a banquet. For instance, this year, uh, American Models TOFC cars are featured. We generally, uh, every show generally picks something that's got a little bit of tie to the local area. You know, Missouri Pacific and Chicago and Eastern Illinois are something we chose this year. Um, 
So the thing, the, the way to sign up for it is you go to our website. You can just Google AFSG SLA, which stands for American Flyer S Gauge St. Louis Area. Uh, we also show a link there. Um, no limit on attendees. Our tables are limited. In fact, we're almost sold out. The convention cars were already two thirds sold. So we're doing very well there. Uh, looks like we're going to have a nice show this year. And Really, everybody just enjoys getting together and, and sharing information and seeing old friends and a chance to uh, pick up a few more things for the layout because, you know, we always need a little bit of that. So that's really what it, uh, you know, that's at core what it is. Um, okay, yes. so everything else was conversation. Um, you know, I'll show the quick picture of the train cars that we have for this year. But the number one thing besides everything that I said was the our website so that you can sign up. As I said, we've got uh, almost all the tables are sold. Um, we're running ahead of last year's convention in terms of attendees signing up so far. So we're very encouraged about the convention for this year. Um, and as I said, layout tours and all that sort of thing. So it's really about sharing our hobby with each other and all Basically, you know, cord around S scale because S gauge is S scale. Um, something that we all participate and enjoy and have for many, many years. If I have any questions, we can obviously do a quick. Uh, anybody got any questions? Anybody have any questions for Joel or for uh, Sherry? And we're very excited this year to be the kickoff for the uh, for the project with the scale scene. Uh, it's going to be featured at the convention. The initial sign up is tied to the convention, so we're pretty excited about being a part of that. And uh, I've been part of a group to help the manufacturers kind of focus in on how to hit the mark, so to speak. Um, had some contribution there and that type of thing, not just from my S scale experience, but frankly with the building, because I've been in logistics all my life that was able to contribute input based on that as well. That's been most of uh, Joel, Joel was the chairman of the, uh, the uh, S scale and the S uh, uh, gauge uh, committee that we assembled to uh, work with the uh, the three manufacturers on making sure that everybody was uh, uh, going down the same road as far as what the structure and what the animation and what freight cars and what tractor trailers and so forth and how the core of the scene was going to be created. Uh, so it should be something that's going to appeal to a wide range of S-scale model railroaders, uh, S-scale uh, farm modelers, uh, and frankly, other people in, in the S scale die cast uh, hobbies, uh, uh, such as the military modelers, uh, uh, the construction modelers, and that kind of thing. So everybody involved with S scale, anything of any kind of hobby, should be interested in this in this uh, project, uh, particularly because it's animated. And I think Sherry uh, really has done an outstanding job on that part of it, as have the other two manufacturers on, on their parts. Uh, so we're really pleased about that. The, uh, the new tracks modeling table will be next to the uh, uh, American models uh, tables at the uh, convention. Uh, so I hope you'll stop by and say hello and, and uh, consider making a contribution to our scholarship. Uh, we selected this uh, uh, Joel's convention uh, because Joel and, and his people wanted to work with the manufacturers and they wanted to work with us and they went out of their way to form the committee of uh, volunteers and uh, they'd gone out of their way to uh, participate in a lot of Zoom meetings and a lot of uh, give and take with the three manufacturers and we couldn't have asked for a better partner from the modeler standpoint to work with these three manufacturers. So Joel, thank you so much to your, for your uh, group's uh, participation and for you and your uh, committee's uh, involvement with this project. Couldn't have done it without you. Well, you're all very welcome. So Sherry, you got anything else you want to add? Um, I 
think that's it. Oh, aside from we're rolling it out for pre-orders starting when SFest starts, but we're also offering pre-orders uh, during the month of November. And I know that there's going to be a link in the newsletter. Um, and again, I'm going to be sharing the links too, so that you can get uh, signed up so that you will know um, when the pre-order becomes available. So in case you don't want to have to remember to do your pre-order, if you're not going to SFest, you can uh, get on a mailing list. So once that becomes available, we'll let you know that you can sign up for the pre-order. And the newsletter she's talking about is the New Tracks Modeling newsletter that uh, Martin Breckfield MMR edits. And the website she's talking about is the NewTracksModeling.com website. If you go to that website and subscribe to it, you'll automatically get the newsletters and therefore you'll be able to automatically be able to, uh, to have the newsletter for November that's going to feature this uh, project uh, in it. And again, be able to get you the same kind of discount uh, that you'll receive at the pre-order uh, uh, tables when you buy it at the uh, at Joel's convention. So everybody may not be able to attend Joel's convention because of travel or other commitments or whatever. And that's why we're extending it and that's why we're using our, our newsletter. Uh, but we're hoping, uh, frankly, that, that, that we can repay Joel and all of his committee members and, and club members for their effort uh, by getting them some additional people attending their convention. And that's why we're, uh, uh, we're, we're doing the pre-order at their convention to try to work with them best we can to encourage people to attend. So Sherry, thanks so much to you and American Models, Karen, and uh, uh, Alan Rogers and his company, uh, New Creations, Victorian uh, Railroad Buildings out in California. You all have just done a great job and we sure do appreciate it and enjoy working with you. We need rain. Thank you. <clears throat>